In the 20th century, one way of breaking the social divisions of the Hindu caste system was by getting every person to clean the toilet in all its shapes and sizes. So, based on this galvanizing ideal, the Sulab International Toilet Museum was born. It was the idea of India's great liberator and leader, Mohandas Mahatma Gandhi, that if a Brahmin from the priest class would clean a toilet, which is something usually reserved for the quote-unquote untouchables, it would lead to a tackling of taboos around issues of uh, sanitation and class division. There are three types of toilet that define India's restrooms. The earth closet, the squatting toilet, and our familiar modern sitting toilet. All right, there are a lot of interesting toilets here, but this one is pretty great. It's a composting toilet. After uh, three years of use by a family, it gets sealed up and the material breaks down for the next two years and all the bacteria disappears. And then the material gets pulled out and dried. And what you get is this. Manure without bacteria, doesn't even smell. It's supposed to be the best organic stuff for your garden, human excrement. Here's a little fact. Did you know that the toilet was invented in India? The curators of the museum have told me with a certain amount of pride, understandably, that this is where the first toilet was used, the Indus Valley, 4,500 years ago, long before the Romans got the idea of the public bath. I meet curator Azaz Rowin and his collection of toilets. A section are defined. This is called Indus Valley section, other civilization section, public bath culture section, poetry section, a Victorian section, humor section, and this row is showing the development of last century, like electrical toilet, electronic toilet, chemical toilet, composting toilet, okay. biodegradable wait, wait, wait. technology. So all of this is dedicated technology. to excrement and toilets over history and time? Yeah, definitely. What are these over here? And this is most famous Victorian section dedicated to Victorian period, known as the era of fancy toilet. You will be watching a beautiful toiletries here. Uh -huh. See, it looks like a tiger. Oh yeah, it does. When guest is out of house, you may uncover and use as a commode. They painted like this and decorated one. And amazingly, for outdoor purpose, they made it like a cash box, a chair, a table, so nobody knows the mystery hidden inside. You may use for writing, having food, etc. I can't believe that. And this is the most amazing replica, rumble throne of French King Louis XIII and XIV. A toilet is beneath the seat. And you know, he never left to attend nature's call, never hesitated to. He doesn't have to leave the court while when nature calls. Audience. He can just... Sitting on us like that. Giving orders while he's on the can. And managing his time that, too. That is very good time management, multitasking. Ah, uh, this is a humor section for children. You know, children are very much familiar with the jokes, poetry and stories. And this amazing sofa-shaped toilet was capped in Victorian colors. Uh -huh. Better to sit on the sofa while playing card, chess, and gossiping. <laughs> you think? Yeah. And this is automatic toilet for the luxury places. Mm -hmm. What does it do? It has two nozzles, one outlet for air. When you press this cleansing button, then first nozzle will come out and start spingling the ball. When we press this bidet button, then second nozzle will come out and start cleaning our genitals. When we press dry button, gush of warm air will come out, dry air to two minutes. Air button will deodorize the entire environment for 20 oh minutes. A massage gosh. button. You may Wait a second, what is getting massaged here? I don't understand. A thigh, a leg, and hips. Okay, gotcha. So basically it's a... Luxury. Yeah, luxury, full night at home. Who needs to go out? 